Hi everyone, and welcome to our video, where we will show you our new technique to install by hand a new tire and a new inner tube on the rear wheel of an electric Xiaomi scooter. And it doesn't matter what model you have, from the Xiaomi M365 to the MI3. All of these scooters have the same front and rear wheels, so you can follow this video without any problems. Okay, let's begin with step one. To remove the rear wheel, you need to first of all take off the plastic covers. If you have an older model with stickers, whether they are yellow or red, you just have to slide the tip of a Stanley knife between the sticker and the groove of the plastic cover to lift and remove it delicately. Next, you can unscrew the two little screws that hold the plastic cover in place with a 2.5 mm Allen key. Then, you will be able to access the two screws that hold the rear wheel in place, which you can remove using a 4mm Allen key. If you have a more recent model with reflectors, taking them off is very simple. On the front of their covers is a little hole. You just have to push inside this little hole with a thin Allen key to unclip the reflector. Then, to remove it, you just have to lift it with a small, flat screwdriver. Step 2. Unscrew the two little screws on the cover with a 2.5mm Allen key. On some new Xiaomi scooters, these two little screws have star-shaped heads, so if this is the case for your scooter, you will need a T10 Torx key to unscrew them. Step 3. Go to the other side of the scooter and do exactly the same thing. Step 4. You can now remove the screw that holds the rear wheel in place with a 4mm Allen key. Next, unscrew the little black reinforcement screw on the mudguard using a cross-headed screwdriver. Then, take the reinforcement rod to the front of the frame. Step 5. Do exactly the same thing on the other side of the rear wheel. To remove the small screw easily, simply push the metal rod towards the outside while unscrewing it. Step 6. You can now take off the punctured rear wheel of your Xiaomi by simply pulling it backwards. Step 7. We really recommend that you take off the brake disc. It's very simple. There are five little screws to remove with a 3mm Allen key, and then you'll be able to change your tire more easily and without the risk of bending your disc. Step 8. You can now remove your old tire and punctured inner tube. So we begin by taking off the valve cap. Then push the inner tube valve inside the wheel.
Step 9. So that you can remove the tire more easily, squeeze the edges of the tire to remove it from the rim. Then push half of the tire inside the wheel. And as you can see here, part of the tire is inside the wheel and the other part is mostly outside the rim. Step 10. Put a few drops of liquid soap around the tire so that it comes out easily and doesn't get stuck. And step 11. Place two tire levers on the part of the tire that's on the outside of the wheel. And create a leverage effect to take the first side out. Then go around the tire to completely dislodge the first part. Step 12. Push the valve of the punctured inner tube to the outside of the rear wheel and pull it upwards to take it out. Step 13. You can take the second part of the tire out by hand. Now you'll be able to see if you have to change only the inner tube or both the tire and the inner tube. It is very easy to do. There are two things to check. One, look inside the tire and if you see filaments or rubber deposits, then it's time to change it for a new one. Two. Check the outside of the tire, and if you see that the tire tread is very worn and reached the end of its life, then it's definitely a good sign that you need to change it. So in this video, we're going to replace the old original tire with a more resistant V3 tire, which has excellent grip. And this V3 tire, that is recognized by its ridges and its white central line, as you can see, is more rigid, thicker, with better quality rubber than the original. Step 14. We take our new inner tube and check what side the valve is positioned. You must install the inner tube on the rear wheel with the valve pointing towards the hole of the rim. Step 15. Use an Allen key to press on the inside of the valve to deflate the inner tube. You can now put the valve cap back on, so that the inner tube stays in place. Step 16. Take the V3 tire and check in what direction it needs to be mounted. The direction of rotation is indicated on the side of the tire. Step 17. The inner tube is placed inside the tire. And put the rim above the tire. Step 18. Put a little drop of soap on the edges of the tire and on the rim to lubricate them. Gently push the first part of the rear wheel of your Xiaomi inside the tire.
You can also use a tire lever to do this by going around the wheel and gently pressing above the tire. Step 19. We'll fit the second part of the tire by hand, with the help of a few cable ties. Here is a little diagram to help visualize and understand this technique. 1. Have the rim of the scooter facing the front. 2. Put the first part of the tire on the wheel. 3. Move the tire towards the center of the rim. 4. Push the tire towards the bottom to fit it on the rim. 5. Squeeze the lower part of the tire so that it goes on the rim. 6. Push the lower part of the tire towards the top onto the rim. 7. Use the cable ties to hold in place the part of the tire that's on the rim. 8. Now press the top part of the tire to fit it all on the wheel. And 9. Push the tire towards the bottom so that it's centered on the wheel. So now, let's put it into practice. Let's start by checking that the sides of the inner tube aren't stuck between the tire and the rim so that it doesn't get stuck during installation. Next, push the tire downwards and tie the first cable tie in front of the valve. Now you can start to tighten, little by little, the lower part of the tire, whilst pushing it towards the inside of the rim. We think this repair is within everyone's reach, but we didn't speed up this sequence so that you can make up your own mind and decide if you feel capable of changing the rear wheel yourself. So after fitting the first part of the tire on the wheel, we really advise that you lubricate the sides of your tire with a few drops of liquid soap. It will help it to glide a lot more easily over the rim.
We'll freeze this image here so you can see that the lower part of the tire is pushed in and held inside the wheel and you can now put the top part in the rim. Now tie the cable around the tire at valve level so that the tire doesn't come out. Step 20. You can now take off the cable ties to release the tire. And we advise that you start by removing the ones at the bottom first, because they hold the tire the most to the inside of the rear wheel. Step 21. Lightly press the sides of the tire to position it around the wheel. So in this video, I cut the cable ties so as not to waste your time, but usually we'd save them to reuse them. It's very simple to do. You just have to insert a little sharp object or the tip of a Stanley knife under the closing mechanism whilst pulling on the strip. Step 22. You can now inflate your new V3 tire. Here is a little table showing the ideal pressure for your tires, depending on the weight, to avoid punctures. You can pause the video here if you need to. Step 23. Now, put the brake disc back on the wheel. Check that it is in the right direction by the way the small arrows on the disc are pointing. Step 24. Slide the repaired wheel into the two notches in the rear fork. And step 25. We'll finish our repair by screwing the two wheel screws to re-tighten the mudguard, then refit the plastic covers.